Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to create full page screenshots in Airtable using URL Box via Data Fetcher. So URL Box is this amazing website where you can get full page screenshots to share with your customers. So it's really simple to use, but today we're going to make it a little bit easier by importing that data into Airtable. So once you arrive onto your Airtable base, we're going to start by setting up a screenshot table. So as you can see in the top left hand corner, you have the title name table one, double click on that and title this screenshots, then click enter. Fantastic. Then we're going to change this first column's name to URL and we're going to change the drop down menu to URL as well to match. Then select save and once that saves we can add the URLs that we'd like of those full page screenshots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you can too and then come back to this step. Fantastic. So now that you've added those URLs into that space, we can now create a new field called screenshot. So just over to the right hand side, the second column will do. We're going to title this screenshot and we're going to make the type, just this drop down, attachment. So you can search for that, select it and then press save. Now that you've done that, we are going to want to create a new grid view. So over to the left hand side, you'll see these options down below and you can see a plus sign next to the word grid. Select that plus sign and here we can title this new grid needs screenshot. Then select create new view. Now, once you've arrived into this new view, we do need to add filters. So check that you have this need screenshot grid view highlighted before you go up to the menu and you can find the word filter. Select that filter button and then add condition. This should read where URL and then change the drop down menu to is not empty. And then we want to add another condition here and screenshot fields. So select that screenshot from the first drop down menu in the second line. And then we're going to select is empty. Nice and simple. So this is how this should now look. Then you can click off of this and now it's time to install data fetcher. So over to the right hand side, you'll find the apps button in the top right hand corner, select the apps button and click add an app. When this loads, you can then search for data fetcher in the top bar and click on add when that appears, then click add app again, really nice and easy. Now you'll be prompted to either create a free data fetcher account, or you can simply continue with Google. Once you've signed in or created your account, you can now import your data. So select the button that reads create your first request. And here we can add a request name. So we're going to title this fetch full page screenshots. Once you've created that title, you can then select the application, which is going to be URL box. And then we're going to have to set our API key. So just follow the link that you're prompted to click. So click the click here. So once you've created an account with URL box, you can select dashboard, and this is where you will find your API key. So if you select that, you can just copy it over. And once you have your API key, you can then paste it back into your Airtable input. And once you have that pasted in, you can select the endpoint, which we're going to choose create screenshots from URLs, then select save and continue. So now we'll be brought to the following page where we can select the URL. So here, if you go over to the right hand side, you'll see a plus button, select this plus button, and then we can select the table screenshots and the field URL really nice and simple. Now that's already brought through all of the information we need so we can select confirm. This is now how that input box should look. Now we will have to select the format as well, which we want to choose PNG today. But as you can see, there's loads of different options to choose from. Then you can leave the following width and height blank for this time round, but you can always choose your preferences if you'd like to. Then we need to make sure that the output table and view says screenshots and needs screenshot. This should automatically happen, but just make sure that you check this. Amazing. So once you've done that, you do want to select more options for this URL box endpoint. Then you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and enable the full screen page. Also be really conscious that you can select scroll horizontally to capture full width here. We can leave this blank today, but just so you know, that is an option. And then you can select save and continue in the right hand side, then press continue. 
Amazing, now we'll arrive onto the response field mapping where screenshot is already selected as the field that we'd like to import. So we can leave that as it is and simply click save and run in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, the requests are now running and now we can select show output table. Now you'll arrive onto your page and it'll look like nothing has happened. But if you click back onto the grid view option to the left hand side under views, everything has worked, that information has been imported. And as you can see with the tesla.com, for example, if you select on the screenshot button, then this will load up to the full page screenshot. So great. Now, if you did want to do this automatically, you can do this by going over to the right hand side and you'll see the data fetcher app. Now here we can make this full screen again by scrolling over the full screen option and we can see all of those options that we've selected for this particular request. Now if you scroll down all the way down you can then see the schedule option for this request. You will only see it this way if you do have a paid data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet upgraded, please go and do that so you can come back to this step and request that you create full page screenshots in Airtable automatically using URL box via data fetcher. So you can simply come back once you've done that and select add API key. You'll be prompted to click on the Airtable.com account button. So simply click on that and this will load up to your account overview for Airtable. Table. So you can scroll down and click on the generate API key button and immediately this creates your API key that you can copy back into your Airtable. So once you have that copied, bring it back to your Airtable and paste it into the input that says not set. Once you've done that, you can select save and then you'll see that the schedule option now has this green to gray toggle, which allows you to schedule the request by turning it on and you can select your preferences. So I'm going to turn mine on every day of the week between nine and six. And I know that I am creating those full page screenshots automatically every 15 minutes. So once you've done that, you can press save in the bottom right hand corner and then close the window over. And now this will happen automatically. So hopefully today you have learned how to create full page screenshots in Airtable using URL box via Data Fetcher. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at Data Fetcher, where we also have a full length blog on this exact topic for you to check out in further detail. Thank you so much for your time today. I really hope you have a good one.